Okay, so we have been uh, discussing linear transformations of this form here. Okay, where you uh, transform a point in the 2D plane from uh, coordinates x, y to coordinates x dash, y dash. And we were able to show that uh, linear transformation of this form um, can be generalized in terms of equations like this. Okay, so the new x dash coordinate is some linear combination of the original x and y. And uh, the new y dash coordinate is some linear combination of those same original x and y, okay? And we were, um, we, well, we spent the last couple of videos showing that this uh, form of the equations could be rewritten in matrix form, a much more compact form, uh, a much more powerful tool uh, at our disposal. So it looked like this. We wrote the x, y dash, the new coordinates as a vector, a two by one vector. We wrote that was equal to A, B, C, D. This is our transformation matrix times the original coordinates X, Y in another two by one uh, matrix, another vector. Okay. So the new coordinates are the old coordinates transformed by this matrix. That's what we spent the last number of videos doing. In this video, I want to talk about um, how you find the inverse process. Okay, so instead of going from x, y to x dash, y dash, we want to go backwards. Find out how exactly you go from x dash, y dash to x, y. It's the inverse process. Okay, well, what we can do is this. We can, um, we can take our, our two equations here and we can... Uh, switch it around, okay, just to make things easier, easier for us. So if we switch these around, we get ax plus by equals x dash, and cx plus dy equals y dash. Okay. Um, now what I'd like to do is multiply this one by d. Okay, the coefficient d, and multiply this one by b, okay, and then subtract the two, then subtract the two, okay. So what you get is, this is going to give you a d x plus b d y equals d x dash. This one is going to give you cbx plus dby equals by dash. Okay, and now we subtract the two. So minus, minus, minus. Okay, that allows us to cancel these two the whole purpose behind uh, doing this process, which gives us, this is A, D minus B, C times X equals D, X dash minus B, Y dash. Okay. And we nearly have X in terms of X dash and Y dash. Okay, so I'm going to write this as uh, x equals 1 over ad minus bc, that's dividing both sides by ad minus bc, times dx dash minus by dash. Okay, that's just dividing both sides. What I want to do next is I want to turn this into, um, into matrix notation, okay, to make things easier. That will equal 1 over A, D, minus B, C, into D, minus B, times X dash, Y dash. Okay, so I wrote this in terms of matrix notation. Uh, this is a 1 by 2, and this is a 2 by 1. Okay, and we wrote it that way because you must have a, let's write it in uh, red. This is a 1 by 2 times a 2 by 1. 
So you must have these two numbers the same. So that's why I had to write it in this form. And then the answer you get is a one by one, which is just a regular number, a scalar number. Okay, and that, that's correct because uh, x uh, needs to be just a scalar number. Okay, we can go down through the, um, to the exact same process and find y. Okay, so this is x equals that. We can do the same process and find y. And what you get is y equals 1 over ad minus bc times minus c a times x dash y dash. Okay, that's what you would do if you went through the same process and cancelled the x's rather than the y's and worked out an expression for y. Okay, good. So um, next we're going to combine those two answers into one matrix equation. So I will get rid of these. But I will leave these two at the bottom. Okay. So, uh, yes, let's get rid of that. Reason. Leave these two. So these are our two expressions for x and y in terms of x dash and y dash. Okay. Well, we can write this as, we can write this as x, y equals 1 over a, d minus b, c times d minus b minus c a times x dash y dash. Okay, so we've combined the rows of this uh, matrix here into a combined two by two transformation matrix acting on x dash y dash. Okay, so what this says is, if you compare it with this one, this says you given x dash y dash, whatever x dash or y dash are, whatever coordinates they are, you can use this transformation matrix to find the original x y. And that's the opposite of this one here. So in this one, uh, you have uh, a transformation matrix A, B, C, D acting on X, Y to give you X dash, Y dash. This is the opposite. So we can say that the inverse of A, B, C, D is equal to 1 over uh, A, D minus B, C times D minus B minus C A. Okay? So this you might recognize as the expression for the determinant. Okay? So if we give um, if we give this matrix a name, let's call it M. Okay, A, B, C, D is the matrix M. Then M inverse is equal to this. Okay? which we can rewrite as 1 over determinant of m times d minus b minus c a. That is our expression for the inverse matrix. Okay, it involves the determinant, you have to divide by the determinant, and you can see that you switch a and d, and b and c are multiplied by a negative uh, by a minus sign. Uh, and this uh, matrix, this inverse matrix, will allow us to carry out um, matrix division, okay, which I'll demonstrate in the next video.